How's it going shoppers? Today we just have a normal ride along. We're gonna be doing Walmart Spark, HEB Favor, and of course Instacart. But honestly, lately Instacart has been so slow I haven't been able to do too much of it, which is why I'm still stuck here. I've gained barely any points over the past few days, which is no good if I'm trying to get to Diamond Cart by the end of this quarter. So we're starting things off with an $18 Spark order. It looks pretty simple, but we'll see how it goes. We're picking up our order right now. Then I think we have like a seven or eight mile drive, but we should be able to get back here for the next drop or maybe an Instacart order, we'll see. We're on our way to drop off our second order. The windows are down so you could probably barely hear me, but it's too nice. So today we're probably just going for a quick 100 because I've been busy working on YouTube and getting ready for the live stream that should be happening after this video releases. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right guys, we dropped that off. I noticed they had some baby food in the order. Now the reason this may be important, I usually look out for baby food and dog food because if I ring the doorbell and they have a baby, I might wake up the baby. Mom might be mad, I might get a bad review. Fumbling for my phone, I saw this order. Not worth it. Anyways, if they have a dog, the dog might go crazy and annoy the owner then I might also get a bad review or some tip taken away. So what I'm getting at is if you guys see those items, do you still ring the doorbell and knock? Lately, I have been, but what I used to do is if I saw that there is like diapers on the order, I wouldn't ring the bell just in case, I would just text. Let me know what you guys do down below in the comment section. Anyways, we're heading back towards all the stores. We'll see what we get next. All right guys, so we ended up just getting a favor. So we're gonna do that before the next spark drop. Favor is HEB's delivery company. It's not the best paying gig, but it's something to do in between sparks to get closer to like 30 an hour. Luckily the drop off is on its way to Walmart. So we should be driving right past Walmart while the drop happens. Just saw a $15 order. And of course it's not even for my county. The two orders I'm seeing right now are probably like at stores 40 minutes away from me. It's kind of crazy. It doesn't make sense on Stuckart. Show me orders where I'm at. Sound good? All right guys, a miracle just happened. This is the highest paying spark I've seen. That was just like a normal delivery, not one of those like bulk orders. We just got a $40 alcohol order. I'll take that. Three miles, two customers, 40 bucks. That's crazy. All right guys, so I need to go get some gas on the way to this drop off because I'm about out. Rookie mistake, I didn't fill up on my way to go to the store. As always, when I get gas, I remind you guys that I have a get upside link and I should have it in the comment section of this video. If you guys join, you guys will be able to save some money on gas and it also helps me out. Basically, all you do is you sign up. When you go to a gas station like Circle K or Shells, you guys sign in and then they give you a discount. Usually these gas stations are a little more expensive, but when you guys use Get Upside, they do give you a nice little discount. So uh, check it out in the comment section down below. $8.50 plus a $7 cash tip. Super nice lady. I'm trying to do some math here. So we're at 27 plus the cash tip. So that's another seven, so 34. I really hope I'm doing the math right, otherwise this will just be awkward. And we just got that 40 spark that we're heading to right now. And we're gonna get there right as the pickup's supposed to be, so we're not even gonna be late. I feel like we all know that experience when a customer has the cash in their hand, you know they're gonna give you a cash tip, but you don't wanna like look at it directly. You kinda wanna pretend like you don't notice it. That's kinda what was going on with this. Anyways, I'll see you guys at Walmart. All right guys, so we are actually early to get this Walmart order. So this delivery was really cool. This guy actually brought out one of those collapsible carts for me to use. Super nice, and he even increased his tip, which was already pretty generous. So this actually turned out to be a $43 order. All right guys, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite Amazon finds right here. This is a car trash bag. You just take like a grocery bag, 
throw it in here, you got uh, these magnet clips that hold it all together. You can also use the produce bags at like grocery stores too. So just grab an extra for your trash bag and you have somewhere to put all your cans and stuff so it's not really gross in your car. A little uh, cleaner. So yeah, check it out. Then you just strap it to the back of your seat. Let's see if I can do it. Well, and we did it. So yeah, car trash bag, check it out. I have a link in the description to my Amazon storefront and that should be on it. Or at least one that might be better actually, because I have a few. We're at $74 in about two hours, which is not normal. And then uh, we just got a $25 spark going nine miles. So that'll get us to our goal of 100 in about three hours. I'm gonna have to come back this direction to go home though. So I might as well look for one more order after that. So I'll see you guys whenever we have the order. I was waiting for that order. It was almost time to pick it up and I saw an Instacart order for 30 bucks, 13 items in like a third of the miles. So we're right over by HEB. I'm just gonna go pull over there. I canceled the Spark and we're gonna do this Instacart instead. Yikes. What a bunch of dummies. Oh, if we make the light, it's meant to be. Oh, it's meant to be. We made the light. And also the good news is this drop off will have me closer to my house. So a lot less driving and I'll probably just be done here because I'm honestly not feeling the best right now. So I kind of want to get this done and get home. We'll park next to the Subi. So this order is supposed to be easy, but uh, she added like four or five things and I'm not complaining because she already tipped really well. So the tip should be going up. All right, so we have a 12 minute drive and we're gonna end up pretty close to my house. Definitely a lot closer than that spark would have had me at. If I did the spark, I would have been 30 minutes away from my house versus this is like 10 minutes and potentially like a $33 order is my guess with the tip increase. But it's one way to find out. Gotta, gotta get this delivered. And that's why you don't pull through on narrow lots that are angled like that. Bad move on my part. Almost forgot about you guys over there. All right, so get this. That order went up to almost 40 bucks. So worth it. I'm really glad I dropped that spark now because $40 for less miles is way better. Plus I didn't have to wait 20 minutes to pick up the Walmart spark. All I had to do was shop it. So if I can do math, obviously I'll throw numbers up if I'm wrong, but I think we're at $114 for about four hours of work. Not even quite that. It was more like three and a half hours of work. So that is such a good hourly rate. I'm really happy with that. Anyways, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and I hope you guys are ready for the live stream that's coming up. I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna be a fun time.